Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. You know, yeah. this week we're wading into some seriously murky waters. Murky is right. The U.S. economy. Yeah. And let me tell you. You guys sent us some... Uh, really interesting economic indicators this time around. Yeah. We're going to unpack all of that for you today. <laughs> but uh, some of this stuff has us wondering, you know... Are we headed for a boom or a bust? Nobody yeah, seems to know. Right. Uh, so let's, uh, let's dive right in. We've got inflation, a job market that's doing who knows what. Right. And, of course. Those interest rates, which just seem to keep on rising. Exactly. First up. Inflation. A whopping 40-year high. I mean, 40 years. That's older than some streaming services out there. That's true. What does that even mean for, like, you know, my wallet? Right. What's it doing to everyone's wallets? Can you help us understand what that actually looks like? Yeah, so... Think about it this way. Remember when you could grab a coffee in a pastry like mm -hmm. without needing a bank loan? Oh. Yeah, those days. They feel like ancient history now. Basically, your dollar just doesn't stretch as far as it used to. Everything's more expensive. Everything seems to be more expensive, yeah. That's inflation in a nutshell. That gallon of milk, that tank of gas, it's all creeping up there. And, you know, it's one thing when it's just like minor inconveniences, but... What we're hearing from a lot of the sources this week is that it's really starting to put the squeeze on. Families, businesses, you well, know, yeah. people who are really just trying to make ends meet. Yeah, and it's tough. It, imagine you're trying to plan a weekly budget for your family and the price of, I don't know, bread Yeah, changes every other day, you know. Right. Or think about small businesses. They're getting hit from every angle. Yeah. Their costs are skyrocketing. But they can't just double the price of everything without scaring customers away. Absolutely. It's a really, really tricky situation to navigate. So then in steps. You know, the government, the Federal Reserve, uh -oh. they're raising interest rates, right? Right. It's like they're playing this economic whack-a-mole. Uh, do those rate hikes actually work? Wow. Or is it just, you know, are we just delaying the inevitable? Well, it's not exactly a game, though it can feel that way sometimes. Yeah. The Fed's trying to slow inflation without sending the economy into a free fall. Right. Higher interest rates make it more expensive to borrow money. So the theory is that people will spend less. And eventually prices will stabilize. Right. But it's not a precise science. This has ripple effects on everything. Mm -hmm. Mortgages, investments, everything. It's definitely not a light switch you can just flick on and off. And while we're talking oh, about go. balancing acts. Let's talk about the job market for a second. Okay. Because on the one hand. We're hearing record low unemployment. Right. Which on paper sounds amazing. Yeah. But at the same time. There's these whispers of a potential recession. Right. So which is it? Are we celebrating or bracing for impact? What are we doing? That's a great question. It's important to remember that numbers don't always tell the whole story. You've got to look beyond the headlines. Yeah, more people are working, which is fantastic on the surface. But what kind of jobs are they? Right. Are these well-paying jobs that can support a family? offer benefits, or are people stuck piecing together multiple part-time gigs just to make ends meet? Right. That's the nuance that's often missing from these big unemployment numbers. And speaking of... You know, um, things that are a little bit concerning. This R word, recession. Yeah. It's like everyone's buzzing about it. Right. But I think it's important for us to take a step back. For a second and kind of define our terms here. Yeah. What exactly is a recession? Okay. So imagine the economy catches a cold, right? But instead of a few sniffles, it turns into a full-blown fever dream. Okay. Businesses start to tighten their belts. Hiring freezes become more and more common. And unfortunately, layoffs start to happen. That new car, that dream vacation you were saving up for, suddenly they feel miles out of reach. That's a recession. It's a period of economic slowdown that really does impact everyone, directly or indirectly. We're trying to... <laughs> You know, combat and flu. raising these interest rates. But it seems like these interest rates could actually end up hurting the job market. Yeah. Which would kind of defeat the purpose, right? It's yeah. like a total catch-22. It is a bit of a catch-22. Higher interest rates can make businesses hesitant to hire. If borrowing money is more expensive, why would they want to expand? Right. And that can lead to slower job growth or even job losses, which, of course, creates a whole new set of problems. It's also interconnected, right? Yeah. It's like... Inflation, yeah. the job market, these interest rates, they're all doing this kind of... Intricate economic ballet. That's a good way to put it. And it feels like nobody has any idea what the next move is going to be. 
Yeah, it's hard to predict the future. So for our listeners out there. Who are just trying to make sense of all of this, yeah. what would you say is the most important thing for them to keep in mind? I think the most important thing is to stay informed. Don't bury your head in the sand, but don't panic either. Read articles, ask questions, stay curious. Knowledge is power, and the economy is always changing. That's great advice. Knowledge is power, absolutely. And on that note... I'm going to leave everyone with a little bit of a thought to ponder. If this is, if the economy is this intricate dance, what role do we play as individuals? I mean, are we just along for the ride, or can we actually influence the choreography? Just something to think about. Very interesting question. Until next time, keep diving deep, everyone.